Hey, Coach Justin Chamnus here, and I want to show you real quickly in just a couple minutes how you can find all the information you need to know about a particular property in order to calculate your lease option offer and put your deal together. The fair market value can be confirmed by using comparable sales or comparable solds, I like to say. Um, but also, there's a quick, easy way to do it using PropStream. If you don't have PropStream, I highly recommend it. Go jump into PropStream. There's a seven-day free trial. There's a link here on this module in this course, and you're going to want it at some point. If you if you don't have it now, or you don't get it now, you will want it in the future because it just makes everything so much easier. And if you ever want to outsource it, your business, you're going to want to have everybody on the same team using the same data using the same stuff and this is a great way to do it now you can see as soon as i put the property address here in the search bar and hit search it's going to pull up the neighborhood it's going to highlight that house for me right here in green with a green flag and you can see all the properties that it's found around the area and over here on the right there's some quick information okay it says average comps uh looks like uh 618,000, but right here it says estimated rent Okay, um, that's something we're going to need to know. So we just take notice of that. All right. So first of all, estimated rent is right there. We're going to need to know that in order to do our lease option deal. So there's estimated rent for this particular property is two thousand nine hundred seventy five dollars. That was that's fine. Uh, find that right away. Boom. All right. Now we also are still looking for the fair market value, and we're also going to be still looking for the rate of appreciation. Now, I'm not going to take the average comps right here and just go with that. I, I could, but be smarter if I went down here and click details and then go up here and take a look at the estimated value. You can see the estimated value is 732587 All right. Now, I could come down here to the comparables uh, link and I could you know, do comparables. I could click both. I could do the six months. I could do the square feet. I could do the, the distance. I could get comparables here and I could kind of get an idea of what my fair market value is, or I could uh, just take its word for it right here at face value and then run my comparables later, perhaps. Um, but right here is a good way of getting a good idea. Okay, a good idea at least. Now you're going to want to confirm this later with comparables down here, but a good idea, a quick grab, good idea what this property's worth is right here. All right. Also, you'll notice that it says last year this property was worth six hundred and fifty-eight thousand, and now it's worth seven hundred and thirty-two thousand. So this is also something we need to know because this is going to tell us how much this house is appreciating. You can see. It's appreciated about $80,000 in the last year, okay? So we can assume safely that this is in increasing in value at somewhere around 10 to 12% a year. Last year, this property was worth six hundred and fifty-eight thousand, and now it's worth seven hundred and thirty-two thousand. This is going to tell us how much this house is appreciating. You can see it's appreciated about eighty thousand dollars in the last year. Okay. So we can assume safely that this is in increasing in value at somewhere around 10 to 12 percent. It'll be safe for us to assume that this property will continue to go up in value uh, for the next couple, two or three years. It's got a strong, strong history of going up in value right here. You see the graph. All right. So, so far, this property, I know what the rent estimate is. All right. That is 200. 2,976. All right. I also know what the estimated value is and the fair market value. And I also know what the rate of appreciation is. And those are all the things that I need to be able to put together my lease option deal. And then down here, I can do my comparables and I can basically justify what I believe to be true from those 
quick grab data numbers. All right, I hope this is helpful. Don't sweat the data. Don't sweat making offers. This will take a little bit of practice, so I want you to spend some time working on this, picking out your property address, your friends and family's addresses, go in there, be Snoopy, find out a bunch of stuff about their property that they don't even know. You can find out all the history of the property and everybody that's owned it and everything going back a long way. You can find out a lot of great information right here on PropStream. So play around with it a little bit, but definitely practice getting the rate of appreciation, okay? Getting the rent estimate and getting the value, the fair market value, all right? And then practice justifying those things with comps. Now, this is not something I want you to spend time doing before you make phone calls. I want you to do this only on properties where you've called the lead and the motivate the homeowner is motivated and he's in a yes type situation he's a he's an a lead or he's a b lead possibly and i'll talk more about what that means later on in further modules here in the course but i want you to do these property analyses okay only on deals that you're actually putting together there's no reason to do a bunch of property research on every lead or any of that just find motivated sellers and then you can do a little bit of research here and get your offers put together and, and win. All right. That's what we all want. We want you to win. Okay. All right. Until next time, I'll see you later, but have a good day. And I'm looking forward to this next module. We're going to really, really hit it home. And we're going to talk about how you basically get motivated sellers to say, yeah, hey, that's me. Let's talk about doing the deal. All right. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Yeah. Justin. Yeah, Sandra, how can I help you if I can at all? I want to. You better get that motherfucking bell. Get ready to ring that shit. Yes. What happened? Justin, I just I closed on Friday. So Shut up, money. <laughs>